In this movie, I review the technique of placing hot spots over the top of slices. You can place a hot spot on top of a slice, as I've done here, to trigger an action or behavior. You may want to do this if you have a large graphic and you want only a small portion of it to act as a trigger for an action. Since you cannot overlap your slices, but you can place a hot spot over a slice, this technique makes certain types of interactivity possible. For example, here, I have a large graphic with text on it, and I want either some of the text or maybe this circular area here to trigger an action or behavior that affects the entire graphic. In this way, I can place this hot spot over the top of it, add a mouse over, simple rollover behavior swap, so I want to roll over, correction. So when I roll over this hot spot, I swap out to state two. State two, if I turn off my web layer, is just a blue desaturated version of state one. So if I go to preview mode and I roll over that hot spot, notice that it triggers the entire graphic to swap out. So that's a special effect that only can be achieved using a combination of hot spots over the top of a slice. Now you'll want to avoid creating hot spots that overlap more than one slice or unpredictable behavior correction. Now you'll want to avoid creating hot spots that overlap more than one slice or unpredictable behaviors may result. In this case, you'll notice that I have I turn my web layer back on, move out of preview mode. I have my hot spot placed directly over my slice which is covering my entire graphic. Remember I can change the shape of this hotspot. Then I select the hotspot and I'm adding, notice, the behavior to the hotspot. Let's go ahead and delete that. So with my blue hotspot selected, I'm just choosing simple rollover. Beforehand, I created a simple two-state file. One state is desaturated. The other state is the normal, regular state. Notice that you can also use the drag and drop behavior method to swap out images under the slice. Click on the tool there. This circle here with the crosshair, remember, is called the behavior handle. With the behavior handle dragged out, notice it's going to swap out this slice. And I can swap the image from any state that I have. If I have more than the state here, I can click on More Options. That brings up the Swap Image dialog, where you can then go ahead and swap out images as well as image files. Correction. Here you can go ahead and swap out states as well as image files. Click on the image file option and then browse to the location of an image you want to swap out. So all these same interactive possibilities are possible when you overlap your hotspots on top of slices. Now all this hotspot slice and behavior work means you have quite a bit of chores to do and actions to do preparing your slices for export such as assigning URLs, entering alternate text, assigning targets, optimizing your slices underneath, correction, optimizing your graphics underneath the slices and much much more. So let me now move on to the next series of movies covering how to prepare your slices and hotspots for export.